Well, YouTubers, the National Train Day adventure begins right now. I'm on my way to 30th Street Station. This, this is the 743 train all the way into 30th Street. So, it's begun. best to get there early before the crowds get there that way I can get some time to take some pictures of the trains and uh, you know take some video of them before these big crowds come because I think they start National Train Day at 940 something I'll be meeting my, uh, my fellow youtuber I think his name is YouTube name is nicer149 or something like that. I have to double check. It'll be on the video description. It'll be in the video though. Like I'll have his proper YouTube name at the bottom of the screen. Got a camera on it too. Okay, I'm down here at 30th Street on National Train Day. And we got some more surprises here. We got a Norfolk Southern Jeep 40 down here. Let's see if I can zoom in on these numbers. We got Jeep 38 H-3 number 523. Norfolk Southern 3029. I think I took film of that one before. I think that might be XCR. To the definitely road. take. I definitely take in pictures of that one. I think. Three. There's Juniana Terminal, SW 1500, number 9275 and Slug. There's the 512. And then there's a P42. Jeep 15Ds over there. X PC Caboose and there's a Keystone parked there which is the first time I've seen this I haven't seen a Keystone parked there like a, I've seen the cab cars but not a whole train then there's some more cab cars some more Amtrak cars and then there's the private car Pennsylvania right there I've actually switched cameras. Back 
actually switched the cameras, so I'm on my better zoom for my uh, Samsung uh, HMX F80 camera, which gets better zoom. This is actually the first time I use this camera at 30th Street, which is really cool. Let's see if I can zoom in on the cab car number. 9644. National Train Day hasn't officially started yet because nothing's been set up. Now I'm going to snap a few pictures. Silverliner 5 set just pulled up. Not sure what's going on. This might be for a display or something. Not even sure. Hmm. That's the 849 to Paley. So track 3 is definitely out of service because that other SEPTA train is, a, I guess, a display train for National Train Day. Might be Paul's train. Outbound NJT train and an inbound Keystone. I-43 right there, and what's the G40 PH-2's number? 4222, I think. Look at this. Looks like the 523 is getting ready to be moved. They are checking out the switcher over there. I guess they're going to couple up to it. I'm not sure because they lifted the coupler lever on that switcher there. And I just got the startup of the Jeep. 38H-3. And in the background, long distance train is leaving. This has got to be the Silver Meteor. This, is ha this has to be the Silver Meteor because it's got three view liners on it. And a Heritage Diner. What AEM-7 is leading that train? I can't even get... Let's see if I can zoom in on that. 
they're doing something with the Jeep right now. I'm not sure, but. Looks like they're getting ready to move out. Ah, oh, they are. They're getting everything set up for National Train Day. Well, here comes an inbound NJT train. Forty-two twelve. And it stopped. is coming back now. Now it stopped. Now the NGT train's moving. Yeah, that's 42.12. Like I thought they're coupling, on, coupling onto the Juniana Terminal SW1500 and XUP SL1 Slug. I believe it's XUP. I was looking at pictures of other ones, and it matches the X, uh, the U, U Pacific Slugs that uh, UP rebuilt or built from SW Switchers. So. Just like I thought they were gonna, they're gonna couple onto them. They're getting everything set up. A regional leaving with a Keystone Consist. And at the same time, they're checking the height on the SW1500 to see if it's going to fit in 30th Street because it looks like it's slightly taller than the Jeep 38 H 3. So that's probably an Amtrak official doing that. This is the same set I was on this morning. That's the same 
said I was on this morning. Outbound Keystone. I better be careful with my battery life. I'm down to three bars on this camera now. There's the orange, orange Amtrak CNV right there. Yep, I thought they were gonna be pulling the Juniana terminal switchers, but they're pushing them. I know they turned the SW1500 on. get to see this slug better. Yeah, that's definitely XUP. I was right. Former UPSL1 slug. Before National Train Day starts, everybody. Oops, sorry about that. Yep. Definitely XUP slug right there. going to put the Juniana terminal engines at anyway. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. They're moving them to the platform area, okay. Alright. gonna go any smaller than than the end yeah, scale. Yeah, I got 227 right here. Dang, I need to get me one of those. But those, how much are those eight gigabyte cars anyway? Uh -oh. Eight gigabyte? At like what? Cheap, cheap. If you even go to Big Lots, Big Lots has a 16 gigabyte for 12 bucks. Is there a Big Lot out in Thorndale? I don't know if there is one. I'd have to, you'd have to take a look. Uh, okay. uh, but big, go to their website. Big Lots has a website. Big Lot, Big Lots .com? Yeah. Okay. Or just look up Big Lots. Okay. Uh, these guys are not fun themselves again, but they don't have much out here. They got another. They got more of these cell engines this year running the uh, freight cars. You yeah. Don't, you don't have any other freight engines. Mm. Last year they had a bit, uh, other freight engines. You know, Cato actually came out with the uh, Amphlee cars too and the Viewliners. I got. I'm with the HO scale right now. I'm not going any smaller, any 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 further down than that. Yeah, HO HO is mainly my gauge too. Yeah. I I have uh, right now. I just got one of my. Uh, Cars destroyed by my brother. Oh. He got so ticked off at me, he bent it. An entire gondola car, Union Pacific 40 foot one, completely destroyed. I can't even put the thing back together because it's cracked and that metal plate underneath it, that's the way. Right. Broken. It's bent. Mm. 
So wait, do you have a layout? Not yet. I don't have a layout specifically. I did, I'm, I moved, I've been up in the Titan for a year already. Yeah. I've been trying to get a layout, but the only use is every time I pick a space, I always get robbed. Oh. So, that, that's, that's my friend that I can Oh, they got the catenaries too. They got the catenary yeah. towers up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I recently started getting into end scale. I had a friend that lives in, uh, uh, what should it South Carolina. Mm. She gave me some of her end scale trains that she didn't, you know, she they were just sitting in her attic and she said, I'll just give them to you. So I, I got like, I got a guy that, that actually has HO scale. Yeah. And he has the old presidential 1776 set. Oh. The 76 right? set. He's got that one of the old presidential train, that one. And the only thing is, it's his engine. Right. They'll need some more because it smells like the Yeah. Take care. Probably a burnt armature. Probably. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't been able to get into the mechanics. You know your best, is it a, is it a steam or electric engine? Uh, it's a di diesel electric. Diesel? I would probably go with changing to a can motor, either Mishima or, um, what's the other company? Uh, Kato. I gotta see, because right now I actually have Bachman right. with the thoroughbred set and the Pacific Flyer. Okay. Do you have any Pennsylvania equipment? No. I, no, not yet. Okay. Um, I just got the, I got an Amtrak 85 foot blood car. Okay. The Ampli 4, number 4 cat, uh, B one. Okay. Phase 4 B. Got that one for 30, 35 bucks. Uh, for cheapest price off the train world. Wow. At uh, Hobby Town, USA. Okay. Hey. You bring, bring in the match list and they uh, compare. Uh, is that the same Hobby Town, USA that's off of, uh, Where's the Hobby Town USA you're talking about located at? Allentown. Allentown? There's one located up in, uh, near, near, uh, Broomall, PA, too. Yeah, they have tons of places. What and they're really good with DCC installation, too, like they're dirt cheap. Look at, look, look at the fine East brass Brunswick. wire. Yeah, East Brunswick. Oh, my goodness. He recently recreated the Jersey side of it. Yeah. The Jersey side of Norton NEC. Is awesome. Ooh, he's getting ready. He's setting up the passenger train. Ooh. Setting up the little end scale uh, uh, car. I see. That's an interesting way to do that. The re the re railer. The, the the not the re railer. The uh, the the rail. rail. The yeah. ramp. Yeah, Kato makes those in HO too. I bought two of their track packs, and they each come with one of if those. If I wouldn't be so short-handed with money right now, I would actually go buy it. <laughs> They're actually, I think you can buy them separately, but they're not really that expensive. I think they're like maybe two or three dollars. I don't know if there's going to be any being sold here, but yeah, I gotta see. I like that plaque right there. <laughs> George Gibbons. Wow, man, that is so cool. The only that's one of the few Amtrak engines I don't have yet in HO. I don't have any HHPH yet. I need to get those. They got oh. private look at these, they got private cars down here. Oh. Oh snap. Oh man. The oh man, this is the first Acela set I've ever been on. Oh wow. I've been in one of these. They're great. Oh man. I don't think so. You're just sitting here and you're just gliding along and the train's ever so slightly tilting at the curve. Oh man. My dad is going to be like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. 
awesome. This morning. Everything's real. Oh, oh, are they really face each other or are they all facing towards Oh, uh, goodness. The only, the only eight of them face each other. Eight sets, yeah. Wow. How we doing, guys? Welcome, welcome. Here's my How camera. I'm trying to get my other camera out. I can't get my camera out. Oh, man. We're serving your seat then? For ourselves, first class, yes. All beverages and meals are provided with your ticket. Uh, no, nope, here's the best part. Coming up is a quiet car. Right. That you're gonna love. Talk about food. We got a kitchen here, right? Oh. Wow. This is sick. Trust me, I've been to one of these cars. The quiet ride right here. I actually wasn't on them. Wow. Still considered first class. Oh, yes, I can look at this. Really? Actually, it was on one. I didn't really want to. Wasn't. I wasn't going from New York to Boston. Ah, okay. So that's how I know. I've ridden one of these already. Very good. Oh man, this is so cool. Tell you the truth, it's really considered regular class in here. Yeah, it's like for everyone else. I've actually ridden on one from New York to Boston. I sat in a quiet ride car to one day. And it was actually interesting. You didn't even consider a first class. You could take a look at your ticket, you're a regular, regular passenger. You're fine with that. What I'm saying is, if you're in here, you don't get a meal. No, okay. there's a business class. There's a business class. You know, they have each car's labeled. No, no, but I mean, this particular class, it's a quiet car. It's a first class. It's just regular. Regular passenger car. There's only two classes. There's no coach. The way I've known is they just consider me as a regular passenger. That's the way I know. And that's, that's an average server on the train you have to buy up some classes. Wow. First class is right in front of you. No, no, I mean this car itself. This is, this is considered business class. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Wow. Yeah, they have business look, class. Look, you can actually see it, and this thing is like tilting and turning while you're riding, while you're driving along. Yeah, that, they actually have business class, and then they have end business class. And um, are we going to be going to the cafe car soon? I think so. Yeah, that's oh, cool. they, they, they're not pushing us out right I understood. Grandpa, don't touch. Don't touch. Equipment like the man said. You're not done. 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 You're not
right here. These are these are the newer versions of the Yale 46 right here. The ALP 46 DP right there. Oh snap! Look at that thing. Oh. It's amazing how they designed it to fit under the wires, too. That's the way, that's why uh, Bombardier made the sets. Yeah, because they have a knack for doing that over in Europe, too. Yeah. All right, let's see if we got Amtrak cars coming up next. Oh, man. This is... Oh. Okay, now we're going into the Amtrak car. Perfect. Number right there on the door. Got it. Oh, there's the cap controls right there. I think this is... I think this is Amfleet 2. I don't know. It's different than the regular Amfleets I've seen. I never see... It, I didn't see the inside uh, of this. Honestly, I think... I don't think this is the uh, top... No, it probably it might be it might be Amfleet two, but it could be an Amfleet one. No, 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 let's see what we got over here. I think this one. Oh, this is the sleeper one coming up. Oh, really? Yeah. Sweet. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Whoa. Yeah. This is a accessible bedroom. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, this is the view liner. It's so just like a little Harry Potter oh, in here. Oh, snap. Oh, neat. This is sick. I know. Oh, my God. They even have a little chess game in there. Whoa. You can play chess or checkers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> nice. Wow, bedroom suite. Back 
Back up, back up. Uh-oh. Back up. Back up, back up. Back up, back up. Back up, back up. Everybody that's back. We've got folks in here because we have to hold up the line. It's okay. It's all right. So, hey. Hey. How you doing? Good, good, good. So you're in the master suite. That's right. Yes. We've got a full bathroom in here. And then, you know, this is the big bed the big bed and the top bed there. Oh, fantastic. That's the real, it's really great. Good okay. seeing you. Good seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is definitely Dude. a keepsake. Definitely. You took the explode with this. Definitely. <laughs> I just said hi to the mayor. I get, well, my mom finds out she's gonna be like, my dad's gonna freak out. National train day, I met the mayor. Uh, uh, I met the mayor. Are we ready to go? Are we yeah. ready to go? All right, we're going this way. Okay, okay. ready to go. Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 Shower. I think yeah, I think this is their new uh, This is the view this is the view liner diner. Yeah. This is the prototype I think. Wow. Wow. It's actually a lot. Good, how are you? Well, thank you. Uh, this is the prototype, right? Yes. Okay. And there are there plans to actually make any production versions of this? Well, we do have this year. Okay. Yeah, this actually is in service, though. This car is in service. Oh, cool. It's on the Lakeshore Limited and also runs on the Crescent. Nice. Cool. Yeah. 
Four. Wait, is this the one that was a Metroliner cab car at one time? Or? Wait a minute. I think this is the one that was... Yes, this is the one that was a Metroliner cab car and it converted it to the business car. Oh, wow. Penny House Dude. 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 Oh, yeah, from my mayor, Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Oh, snap. This is awesome. National training. Those uh, doors at the vestibule here keep opening and closing. Yeah. So, this is what it looks like inside. One of the cars I was talking about that they needed money to restore the operation. This is the one that I, that, that, that I was talking about. Original PRR car right here. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Hey, thank you, sir. Oh, now that's a picture. Nice. Oh, oh check this out. The kitchen. Yeah, this is one of the cars that I was telling you about. What's this one? Um, I think this is the other one. This is a sleeper. Or I think it's a sleeper. Yeah, yeah Paul. Yeah, Paul, when you said that when you said the thing about, about Tom Hamels, his name is Paul Hamels. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Thank you. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Upstairs in the glass bubble. Wow. I should have bought a book bag with me. <laughs> They'll give you a bag. We'll get one up top when we get when we get when we're done in down here. Cool. I'll show you where to get where we can get them. So you get you give them out for free because we have to. Oh my god, all the magazine store nice in the air. Nice. Yeah. Here, let's take a rest for a while. My my meat books are getting tired. Look at this TV. Dude. Oh, look at that. Ooh, what do you got here? Mmm. I think we got a kid kitchen going. I don't want us to get in trouble. Uh, I just don't want us to get in trouble. Electric stove? Oh my god, that brings you back to my house. <laughs> that's how I know. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Oh, no. 
Oh, this is the observation car right here. Wait a minute. Oh, snap. Dude. Chapel Hill. One of those old heavyweight coaches yeah, too. Look at it. Uh, this one that oh, opens up into there. It has an open up uh, open up door. Oh. Stainless steel sinks. Dude. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. It's like a it looks like a palace. It's a palace. That's why they call it a palace on on rails, man. You're gonna love this one. Very high. Oh. Look at this one. Dude. Oh, you should see the shower. This is, this is nicer than yeah, those. Look at this. Those this is hot. Wow. And no car oh, with the modern that. modern shower and all. Oh man. This is nicer. Wow. Bed. Wow. Mm. Wow. A bed and a table in one. The ultimate private the, with their experience. And, you know, it's one thing when you film one from the outside, but when you actually get to see how they do the craftsmanship. I mean, the quality in the wood and oh, the elegance, everything is just right. It's just right. Aha, now look at this one. Oh, wow. Look at, oh, wow. Look at the cellar we got in front of us. <laughs> Perfect picture. Oh, my goodness. Sister unit to 4211. 4213, that was. Yeah, yeah, but that's a sister unit to the 4211. I thought it was always by even, by uh, one was even, one was odd. Well, there's 4211, there's. 4212. And 4213. Yeah. Looks like even, even the best thing is, is sometimes I even do is, oh, we got, usually when I got time in between trains, besides. Checking them off on my list here. Yeah. And I'm making sure like that one was 46.73. Wow. Or did, cause easily, easily he's running a little late now. Yeah, because he had to let the uh, crescent go. Crescent go. Yeah, unfortunately, I can only spend about an hour here before I have to go over and uh, get get an hour of stuff though before I have to take off. I understand. Because I because of my mom. Otherwise, you'd be staying longer. I'd, I'd be here till I'd be here till about four o'clock. Then I stay in on the side till five. Wow. There's that Pennsylvania one. Yep. I filmed that one on the Pennsylvania. Did you see that video? That one on the Pennsylvania. I gotta take a look again. Yeah. Cause I know what the I know that uh, right now the yard in uh, Suburban Station. Yeah. It's empty. We got practically no trains in there right now. 329, 523, but 160 is moving in the yard. I'll be moving them up and getting them ready for his pickup of the Pennsylvania. I think the 512 might be used tomorrow on the Pennsylvania. So 
if he's heading out, then the, then the uh, eastbound one should be coming through. Let me check. 12 12, he's due soon. If he didn't already come in. Mm. He's got to come in the, uh, for, uh, first. They, they, got, they move him up. I've seen, they've done this in the past. They moved him up uh, ahead of time. And then they uh, get him sitting up there further up the line a little more. Then they then they uh, hold him there, wait for that one to come in, drop drop the cars, wait until the heat's coupled up. Then they detach the AM mm. until 43 until uh, 42 comes in. tell that too much yeah that's probably that's the inbound Pennsylvanian right there being pulled by eight em7 number 953. It's getting ready to be coupled onto the Pennsylvania, which was just pulled in by AEM7 number 953. this is. Regional. Regional. Oh. Got an inbound NJT train coming in now. So 
meet between a regional and an NJT train. This would be the third NJT train I catch of the day. That's definitely a long regional. So that's the number of that G40 PH-2. That's the highest number one I've seen so far. CSX Freight Train, CSX Grain Train. That's a grain train. And we got Amtrak train number 91. They're sending a freight over there. There's something coming on the High Line soon. That's how they usually do it. We still 
Northside to Pennsylvania to leave. Two Keystones, Atlantic City, and two Ocellas along with some other stuff. Let me go. It's starting to rain. Pennsylvania Department. We got the Pennsylvania train in record number 43 with B42 DC engine 160 leading the Pennsylvania to Pittsburgh. That's a long trip, man. Oh, hell yeah. And it's a long drive, too. Yeah. I fell asleep going all the way up and coming all the way back. As 160's leaving, in the yard is ADM 7950, the Keystone set that's not in operation this weekend. I guess they eliminated one set for the weekend, but they didn't need it. Oh, well, more to come. More action. actually seen one time where two AEM sevens were actually on different tracks. One was being switched onto a train, another one was going into the yard and they were both pacing each other. Hmm. I have I forget what video that's in. I check that out, but it was very cool to see. I have the biggest question of all. Yeah. Why do they double head uh, why do they put two uh, two AEM sevens on one train? In case one fails. That's what I heard. Here we got Amtrak train 666 to New York from Harrisburg, the Keystone. Coming in. Gap car and four regular cars. Let's see what engine he's got today. I think that's engine 947. Yep, yep, it's 947. Definitely. This time, this time, this engine is readable and it's confirmed. That's cab car 9641. That's the only cab car to still have its traction motor levers intact. Wow. The only one I've seen. Who would it be caught off guard? We got a solid train 2251 to DC. To our nation's capital from Boston, South Station. We got cab motors, I think that's 2026. Yep. 2026. Which it is. And his counter his counterpart, 2029, I think it's. Yep, 2029, coming in. 2251. Where to come? As a part of National Train Day, we 
got a CSX Highline Freight, engine 8170, 757. Laying a mixed heavy freight. Oh, man. They're running real heavy. Yeah. Those engines are taking their time. They're really running a little heavy. They're having some trouble. That train's extra heavy. Yeah, he's kicking in the extra power now. He's throttling up. come around this time. It's my first year, first national train day year to see a free train on the high line going north. Ever. There might be another one coming through heading this way though. A light engine might be coming through. He kind of snuck up on us, didn't he? Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> That's a sneaky guy! Hey, he's short! Yeah, okay. He's, but he's heavy, his cars are heavy. Yeah. Tank, tankers are heavy. That's why he's running a little, a little slow. He's running heavy. I heard him throttle up. Throttle up. Wait. On the intermodal trains, right around that curve there, they usually throttle up around there on the intermodal stack trains right around there. That's where they usually throttle up at. Oh, he's carrying rails. Uh, I think that's steel plates. Yeah, aren't you hockey rail? Yeah. The yeah, Upper Marion Plymouth and uh, Upper Marion and Plymouth Railroad. Uh, the former Luke and Steel Plant Railroad interchanges cars with them too. All right, more trains to come. This is, was a short C CSX freight. So, do you guys know a lot about trains? Mm. Yes. Does a train like that, at what point does it actually pick up speed and start to move, or does it literally move that slow? He was, he was actually, he has a restriction on that line. Yeah. yeah. So he's a, speed, he's a, it's a speed restriction, but the way he... The when does it open up where it can actually like get some When speed he gets going. further up further the line. Up the line. That's Which it. is where, like what? Uh, uh, by zoo. zoo interlocking. By the zoo? Zoo tower, zoo interlocking is around the curve up there. And then will it start going what, like 15, 20 miles an hour? No, or? it's going to go faster than oh, 15, they 20. That starts yeah. to go really fast. They go, they go yeah. about 50, 60, 70 mile an hour. And running. where does that line take that whole train out to? Like how Conch, far? Conchahokan, all the way as like far. Harrisburg, like start going out there. About that, that yeah, yeah, but they could go as far as north as. Uh, as as a uh, king of as far as I know, king of Prussia usually, yeah, and it goes from there towards uh, Reading possibly, like but west, depends. West, west, yeah. Got it. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. Six eight six sixty leading train eighty eight out of Norfolk, Virginia. New service from Norfolk, headed to headed north. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars. HHP8 engine 660 just snuck up all right out of the tunnel on us. <laughs> lucky shrimp. He's lucky he's leaving because otherwise we'd have to shoot him. <laughs> just kidding. More to come. Train 147 to Richmond. No, Lynchburg actually, sorry, Lynchburg. 
Lynchburg Regional. Coming in. Giving us a horn. Nice. And we got train 666 right here. Amtrak engine. Yeah, yeah. 938. And the Keystone 666. There's cab car 9641 right there. 9641 cab car leaving, meeting, and 90, 938 is hitting this horn. A double meet. One in, one out. Saying goodbye. On Keystone Train 666. To where are you going? To New York. And they'll be coming back as another Keystone to Harrisburg. Oh well. More tech. Are there any more long distance trains due? Um, the only other ones that we got otherwise, except for 42, um, not until about... Wait, that's right, that's right, that's right, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 355. Okay. Crest at 19. Ah. And then at uh, 458 is 97. Okay. At 430, you're going to have a regional from Boston to Norfolk. Train 71. Egg. Yeah, what the one? I uh, saw 2212 with car with the cab cars 2038. And 2016. Leading off. To New York. Hey, his side panel's missing. Hey, yeah, check that out. 2016 is missing part of his side panel. Uh oh, and checks up in trouble. Where'd it come? I think that's the panel where they actually um, service. No, they, that where they actually have the buttons for the controlling the nose. Hey, local freight. Oh. That, I think that's a trash train. Trash unit. Single engine trash unit train heading across the, uh, the other side of Schuylkill River today. Engine 6396. Yeah, CSX is kicking them out today. That's three freights in one day. Yeah, I missed the engine on the first one. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. See? Same cars as we had as the one that came in. Just the same train. Yeah. Engine 4204. Taking off. This is train 4677 to Atlantic City. Our last train for today here at 38th Street. We'll catch our train going to Wolf Grove. The National Train Day is coming to a quick short end day today. Well, at least we got to meet the mayor of uh, Philadelphia today. Michael Nutter! Yep. Good old Nutter Butter. And we got it on film, y'all. Yep. Videos to be posted soon. He's off. And so are we. We're gonna come from the side. All right. Another NJT train. That's 4212 right there. That's my fifth NJT train today, I think. <laughs> 